This is how you install a Docker engine on your Ubuntu 24.04. I'll be following the commands listed on the Docker website itself, which is compatible with uh, uh, Ubuntu Noble 24.04. But uh, if you are planning to use your window SSH or your PowerShell SSH, this command here where they say to set up a Docker's APT repository does not work very well. It fails somewhere around here. So I'll show you an alternate way of doing it, but uh, towards the end, it comes up to be the same at the end of the day there. So I'm going to park this on the side here, and then I'm going to SSH into my Ubuntu 24.04 server here using SSH. Uh, and my username is Robbie, and the IP address to your Ubuntu server like this, and hit enter. If it's the first time connecting to your um, Ubuntu machine, you'll be prompted with this. So simply type yes. And then the password you have to enter and then you'll be logged in as yourself as you can see the i the prompt here is uh, green which means you're not a super user in order to log in as a super user you say sudo su and then you log in as a super user or rather root user let me clear the screen here like this next you'll be uh, updating your apt package using uh, this command here so basically you update everything that's installed on your ubuntu machine at the moment here uh, this might take a bit, but uh, I've already run my apt get uh, previously, so mine goes relatively fast. The next command will be to install two packages. One of them is called uh, CA certificate, the other one's uh, curl. If you're wondering what uh, CA certificate does, it provides a set of trusted CA certificate used to verify your SSL and TLS connection because you're if you're trying to pull report from docker hub they use https and the curl of course you can use a curl command if you have installed this curl once that's done um you're gonna go ahead and uh, uh this is where i start to tangent away this is the command that i use to create a keyring directory uh p simply means that uh, do not issue an error message if that directory exists i'm gonna pull this command from our uh, docker website here so the user install i'm gonna use a, a make directory like this here and then simply creates that directory on the etc apt folder and after that um, the next command would be to pull uh, the uh, uh, docker's uh, official gpg key and basically convert that into a binary format and store it in a recently created directory here as docker.gpg key like this and hit enter once the once the key is downloaded um, you're gonna change the permission on the key basically a plus r means to add uh, read permission for all users for this particular uh, gpg key here hit enter and it simply goes like that i'm going to clear so that uh, uh, we have a fresh page here now we're gonna next command we're gonna do is to add the uh, repository uh, to the ap uh, apt source using the key that you have just downloaded from the docker's official website here once that's done let me clear the screen here uh, the next thing you have to do you have install a series of package you have done a few things here you downloaded the key uh, it's always uh, best to go ahead and uh, update and upgrade your packages if you hit enter here okay once that's done you should get some message something like this uh, this message relates to a process called need restart utility and this happens i've started to see on ubuntu 24.04 they have this service that runs whenever you install uh, any new packages or whatnot uh, ubuntu is configured to restart a couple of services so you might want to give it maybe about a minute before the services is uh, started and running let me assume that everything is okay here the next thing you have to do is to install your docker package itself using this command here so all the commands featured in my video here will be on the description of the video here uh, you can have a look at it just copy paste it and you should be able to work with it over here you're going to press y again after installing the docker uh, package uh, it's going to restart again a few services here so i'm just going to go ahead and clear the screen so we get a fresh new screen once that's done you can test whether your docker has been installed properly or not by running this command here and if you hit enter you should be getting this kind of message here saying hello from docker if that comes up your docker package has been installed successfully